Welcome to the weekly focus for prayer at St. Paul's Church. This will be the final session for the summer period. We will aim to review what we do from September. As you know, things are changing so much when you consider where we have come from in March and things are opening up all the time and we will be in contact with you through email. If you have any feedback, any thought, please do not hesitate to contact myself, Tracy, or any of the ministry heads um, if you have any thoughts on the prayer sessions. Just because it's the final one, please let me encourage you to use any of the PowerPoints since we commenced these sessions online in March. This last session, I, I want to encourage you that you can use throughout August, use it in small groups, larger groups on your own, that you may continue to pray that God's vision will be fulfilled. And we, the people of God, want to be involved with that. So I encourage you to take your time over the slides, consider what they say, consider what you're stirred about. And as you know, it's not a guided session at any, at any point, you can pause it. As it says in Matthew 18, verse 18 to 20, a great reminder as we come to pray together that whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. For truly, I tell you that if two of us on earth agree together about anything that, that we ask for, it will be done for us by our Father in heaven. For where Spend this time praising and thanking God for who he is and whatever is stirred on your heart. Some great scriptures there to consider and others you may know as you just seek to praise who he is and thank him for what he has done. We cry for our nation and declare 1 Chron Chronicles 29 verses 10 to 13. So consider our community, consider the communities that have been impacted by this disease, for people isolated searching for insurance.
We looked at last week at the wise man that built his house upon the rock and the foolish man built his house upon the sand and obviously we reflected on that if we follow God's teachings, if we abide in his word and seek his face, we are like the wise person who builds upon the rock. And we've had a week to consider and allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us, to lay our lives before him, that we may be restored in strength to continue to build in relationship with him and also in ministry and giftings that he has for us through the Holy Spirit. And I just sense that this next week it'll be really, really of great use to pray for the whole church. Pray for the whole church. Seek God for the people of God that they too may understand that to understand God's word, to seek his word and follow in his ways with the help of the Holy Spirit causes us not to build on sand. The Holy Spirit allows and helps us to understand when things increase in our lives that can cause our strength to fade, to fail. And we have the Holy Spirit and we want to seek God that each individual, every child, every young person, every adult, every married couple, single person, every older person has an encounter with God that they may continue to build in strength. That they will recognise those things that are distraction just like the parable of the sower that comes and seeks to destroy. Let us pray for the people of God. And as we continue to pray for our church, Nehemiah 3 remaining important. Remaining important because we want to build together. We want to build together and in building together we need to individually be challenged and changed by God's Holy Spirit. So let's keep that in mind there, my three, that we want to build together. And let us continue to pray for revelation of the Lord's anointing upon every individual. Luke 4, 18 to 19, being very key for us as a church because he has anointed us us all to be able to see the captives set free, to be able to see the blind open their eyes, to know that you want to celebrate the year of the Lord's freedom, to know we can give the good news to the poor, the gospel of Jesus Christ, salvation belongs to him. And let us pray for strength that we do not grow weary for doing good and that the church will continue to grow in faith and purpose in all areas of ministry. Remember, you can pray for specific areas. It doesn't have to be the same each week. Ministry can st still continues in the church, even through this difficult and I, I really sense for our church family. Let's pray for those who, are, they can now go out. People, they're being encouraged to go out, to go out to work. But there are those in our fellowship who will be struggling to go out of their homes with increased anxieties and fears that some of them who already have mental health issues, for those who are frightened of uh, catching the infection. Let's pray for them specifically, and there may be individuals that are on your heart. Pray for our families at St. Paul's, the young people and the children 
whose education has been impacted, pray for them that the Holy Spirit will come upon them, that they will know God's presence upon their life. God has anointed and appointed them for such a time as this. They've not been forgotten. God has a plan and he has a plan for them. Let's cry out to God. Let's pray for Kingdom Kids and the team. They're still of value. They've still got relationship with these young people and children. Let's continue to pray. And for those who are threatened with unemployment, to fear for and as we consider our community, I've just sensed that m word from Matthew 16, verse 18. Jesus said, Now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock, and upon this rock I will build my church, and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. We desire that God will establish his rule over our community, and that the church will continue to impact all areas of city life. And we will continue to pray against any division and conflict in our communities, that God's grace, love and righteousness for all people will arise. Let us consider and know who we are, for we are more than conquerors to those who love our Lord Jesus Christ. He has given us all power and authority on earth. And we can stand against those things that come to destroy the work of the building. And it is always good to be able to speak scripture at the end of this week's prayer session. It's Romans 15, 13. Because we pray together that you will be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience and giving joyful thanks to the Father who's qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. Lord, have your way with us this week. Let us speak into the heavenly realm and know that you are going forward with your plans and we are part of that. Hallelujah. Have a blessed